Alan, a really special night for you here at Ibrox. What did that mean to you? It meant the world. Um, as soon as I knew it was a sellout, I was surprised and <coughs> honoured. Um, and the amount of people that stayed back tonight was. I can only thank them. Um, they are, again, I've said it many a time, but they're the best fans in the world and the reception I got will, will live me forever. And to be back on the pitch again, I know it's not been too long, but what was that like for you? It was a bit weird. Uh, I went in a couple of days last week. I'm glad I did now, to be fair. Um, but last, last Monday I went in with Smiddy. Ho ho! <laughs> not good. And then I went in last Friday and it was a wee bit better. And then uh, yesterday again, so um, no, it was good to get back out there. I actually felt no bad, to be fair, but um, it was a good test for the boys as well. You know, it was good to see the new players and see how um, hopefully the season's good. So, and um, for you and your family, it must have been a really special night, it, like you say, to see the stadium full and, and really show that appreciation for you and your career here. Yeah, they're buzzing as well. Um, my wife done a lot to organise this as well as the committee, so. Massive thanks to them, um, just to make it such a special night. Um, as again, one that will live me forever. Like the, the fans are unbelievable. So that means so much to me, and I can't. I generally can't thank them enough. Is it possible for you to to sum up your career here and, and what it's meant to you? Probably not. It's hard. Um, it means the world. It does. Um, the length of time I've been here over the two periods, coming in as a young boy, 11, 12 or whatever it was, and then at 14, knowing that after school I'm going to get a contract, and then just taking it for there, you know, it's a lot of ups and downs, injuries throughout your career, um, a lot of help, uh, coaches, managers, physios, doctors, a lot of help. Um, a little bit of luck as well, I think that's needed um, to have a career and to get to 41 and a half or a bit your hand off at 20. So. And a really nice moment for you as well when you came off, obviously got that reception and, and you had a word with Jack Butland as, as he came on to for his first appearance here. I did, I think you want to know what I said. <laughs> don't uh, need to tell us. Nah, I just say to him, go and enjoy it mate, I say it's the best club in the world, I say just go and enjoy it. And what's next for you? Uh, I don't know. Um, can I see a shower again because I've had that <laughs> already, didn't I? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's, still been, it's still been early, it's only been about seven weeks. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Something might come up, something might not.